so here we are early. This is the this is the time to find the the goodies. It's early buyer time. This is when all the people do the early buyer thing to get in to see what kind of good stuff they can find. So we're here. Amy's at the table. I'm out here looking for any cool monster stuff, classic universal monsters. So hopefully. Hopefully I come across some stuff because she's setting up the table and I kind of feel bad. So, all right, we, uh, maybe we can make it worth it. That is crazy. An Ultraman bicycle. Yeah, yeah, it's still in the box. I'm not gonna put it out to you while I'm Kinda like that, Snoopy. <laughs> How you doing? So far, so good. Hey, how you doing? So what's up? I am selling toys. Selling which toys. Which is a lot more fun than selling records. Yeah. But there's no double J here, so. <laughs> and you sold most of them. Yeah, I sold a lot of stuff today. It's a lot easier to sell toys than records, I found. That's true. If you got good toys. Uh, you know, I'd rather buy toys than records, too, so I get it. Sus Gizmo made it, I see. I love it. 20 bucks for that one. 20 bucks? Yeah. I've never seen this one. No, it's long out of print. Half of them are, but... Well, but come on, get in here, boys. <laughs> get in here. Oh, get in here. Oh, we got the hoodie. <laughs> right. I love it. This is our crew. <laughs> oh. All right, who's, who's the spokesman for the Adamstown Mafia? Him? Hi. <laughs> Tell me about the Adamstown Mafia. Well, it's an elite group. It's a, an elite tactical group of four antiquers uh, from uh, Renningers in Adamstown, Pennsylvania. It's a very select group, the Adamstown Mafia. Uh, rule number one is we do never, we never talk about this thing. Rule number one is we don't talk about this thing. 
And uh, rule number two is if you ever ask us to join, that's the quickest way not to join. You must be selected. And you must be loyal. So and how loyal, loyal to the family. <laughs> so how'd this guy get in? He's our bodyguard. He's our muscle. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's muscle. Yeah, he's, our muscle. he's the muscle. Don't speak about the family to outside. See, despite, <laughs> despite the calm exterior, you rile him. He's a problem. He's ready. The calm or the comic yeah. exterior? That's why we're never afraid to walk around Renninger's when we know he's there. He's got it. All right, he's the guy. But I'll do... like five of these here. Five green ghost games. It's crazy. Kabbalah. John Star Trek. And Kiss. You know, I've actually never seen this before. Zog the Terrible. I've never come across one of them loose, boxed, anything. It's pretty cool. Maybe a stun gun. Ideal. There's, uh, it's the Amy truck right there. <laughs> I love anything with the Child World price sticker. I think that's that's great. One of his colleagues. Nice. He's coming back from the grave. <laughs> you know, I saw him one time, John. All this corgi stuff. It's incredible. Tons and tons of corgi. Wow, this is like the corgi guy right here. Candy Kitchen, Mr. Candy Man. Monsters. Let's find a lot of uh, classic monster stuff this time, which is probably good. But at this point, I've kind of got champagne tasting. So look at all the people looking for their Christmas, childhood Christmas toys. That's what I asked a lot of people this time was, what was your favorite childhood Christmas toy? And a lot of people are out looking for that trying to find that old Christmas toy they had back when they were a kid. And, um, which I think is cool. To just get that one favorite toy back. I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. So let's go see what we can find. What is the best toy you ever got for Christmas? Um, a Raleigh 
uh, chopper, five speed Raleigh chopper, red Raleigh chopper, five speed. Got stolen about two months later. <laughs> and I've been crazy for bicycles ever since. I've been nut for bikes. Awesome. Awesome. That's cool. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna need you to come this way. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> what's up? There's the mafia at work. How much is the Devastator? Which one? This bag. My son. I had to to the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, man. Thank you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Nice seeing you again. Bionic Beauty Salon. So how'd you do? Did pretty well the first day. Um, all depends on what you bring, obviously. Bring oh, is ring. that is that your sales pitch? Yeah. It all depends My on what you bring. Extremely obvious sales pitch. It all I've depends on what you bring. Because I mean, the cool thing about this show is buyers come to this show. They obviously gotta have what they want, but if you have the cool stuff, the buyers they come. They actually spend money, which is refreshing. It's not like when you do like a like a small show or a flea market, everybody's like, "How about five dollars?" <laughs> like, so then they can resell it to someone else for triple. <laughs> That's all right. That's the circle of collectible life, right there. It is. 
the important thing is, as long as you keep stuff moving, you make money, you keep the stuff you love. That's the most important thing. That's it. This is how this works. We have all the good stuff at home. Yes. All of us. Everyone <laughs> in this room, except for a Has... few really smart people, <laughs> just sell. They don't keep stuff, but the rest of us are all been bitten by the collecting bug. And a lot of people here are just purging the stuff. That's the overflow from the personal collection. That's There's, what we're doing. Yes, stuff that we've impulse buys, stuff that we've upgraded, stuff that we're like, do I really need this? But it's all good fun, and it's really fun to do this show because um, there's so much here. It's not just one of those shows where you, you go and it's all just like Funko Pops and new X-Men figures that you see a million times over. There's a bunch of really cool vintage stuff. But some new stuff too, if that's what you're looking for. And uh, yeah. yeah, everybody here's cool to, you know, breath of fresh air to come out here. We found Count Chocolate tonight. <laughs> <laughs> come to the York Toy Show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you uh, do you happen to have anything that I would like? <laughs> I can't afford that. And then how about an AHI Dracula? All right, that's more my speed. Nice <laughs> AHI Dracula here. Or any interest in AHI lined up creature? That's a true AHI. As he has the top. And he also says. AHI on his foot. That would help. Yeah. Oh, who's next? 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 Who
are back in room number one. A deal has been had. I did find something. I found this. For an amazing deal. Very rare that I ever come across these for an amazing deal. Dragoon. You know how the mask works? Yeah. I'm going to tell you who made that. Don Post made that. Don Post. Don Post. So if you go researching it, that's a Don Post product. No kidding. Yeah. I just did the Halloween show up in Eastport this past year. They had it like five years. That was a really cool show. Was it a good one? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, kind of older stuff, but just like the stuff. It was kind of cool. This is coming for Again, second set. So we got him, and well, now we got some Chiss Color Forms, which is crazy since this is the second day. I bought more on the second day than on the first day. Just goes to show you never know when stuff's going to come out. A lot of people only do the, the first day thinking everything will be picked over and gone, when in reality there's all kinds of stuff to be had, depending on which day you come. Yeah. That's cool. And Count Chocula. I know. Fruit Brute's on there. And Frankenberry. Fruit Brute. You actually knew Fruit Brute. Nobody gets that one. Yeah. Who? Ah, cool. That is cool. And where's Yummy? There he is. Yummy. Ah. <laughs> nice. All right, so who's the coolest Who's the coolest monster cereal character out of all of them? Since you have them all tattooed on you, if you had uh, to pick one. It's got to be Frankenberry for me. I mean, I love Frank them all. I love them all, but Frankenberry, as a kid, was the one. Devoured <laughs> the one. Yeah, love Frankenberry. So now you're taking a fruit brute home. <laughs> <laughs> a disco wolf. I'm taking disco my disco brute. wolf. <laughs> A-H-I. Awesome. Crazy stuff right there. Wow. Crazy expensive, but crazy stuff. Show starting to wind down. It's a little after one now. Goes till three. Still lots of people shopping now. Full day. People looking for good stuff. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. If you like uh, die cast though, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Johnny Lightnings, that kind of stuff, that's... There's a lot of that in this room, the secondary room. I mean, it's a good mix too, but half of it is definitely all classic die-cast stuff and rare things like that. 
lots of stuff. Even lightsabers. Pretty cool. Yeah, so it couldn't be going to a better one. <laughs> the dragon is Yeah. Oh, so stoked, man. Yeah, these are cool. I'm more on uh, Instagram and Etsy's model toys, so hit us up. Do you have a, um, do you have a card? The best ghetto tape job we could do, given the space. <laughs> This is pretty much wrapping up day almost two. Wrap time. It's it is almost two o'clock. Two o'clock. Which means we have an hour left before your. This is my favorite toy show of the year, so it stinks that it's almost over. But we did good. We had fun. It was cool to see a lot of people that we, you know, see every year here, and uh, a lot of people that watched the last episode that we did here coming out to say hello. We appreciate that. Um, it's cool to meet the people that watch our show. Um, but yeah, it's been a fun weekend. And i um, dreading going back outside because it's cold and rainy. And, and I kind of just want to go back to the hotel because it was so nice and go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. But sure. we got a rental car we got to get back. So there's that. But uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff here. I didn't get to walk around. No. You had to... Somebody was out. Yeah, yeah. Around. Yeah, yeah. You sell the stuff. I sell you buy. That's how it works. That's how it works. But we still got some cool stuff left for the next time that we do it. Still got your Iron Maiden Eddie figure. Yep, we still got the Vampirellas. Alright, let's put Eddie. Ace is high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You did good. We did good, yes. We still got a H.I. Dracula. The Vampirellas. One of them. Yeah. We sold pretty much, like... Most of the, I mean, we sold probably about a good, at least half the stuff we brought, which was good. A lot of people, you know, more try, than to, try to have a good mix of things this way, no matter what you're into. You're age, tired. I am so <laughs> tired. I'm ready. You're falling asleep. I am exhausted, but I'll go get some kind of peppermint flavored beverage soon. And, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. All I'll right. Okay. <laughs> get some food. So that's it. That's going to do it. This is the end of the show. It's time to pack up and go home. Thankfully, we don't have a lot to pack up, which is great. That's a good we thing. We got rid of things. And now we're going to add more things to the collection of lots of things. So it never ends. It's a vicious cycle. So this is definitely our favorite show um, out here on the East Coast. This is like the biggest toy show out here for sure. There's a lot of good shows though. A lot of really, really good shows. We like going to all of them and stuff because you never know what you can find. But this one, this is a big one. Lots and lots of good stuff. So, in conclusion, next year, Thanksgiving weekend, you should come here and buy some toys. You can come early buyer on Saturday night when the vendors come in or you can come Saturday or Sunday morning, super early, or you can come whenever. And there's no matter what time you come, there's always a lot of really cool stuff. That's it. Lots of good things. Thanksgiving weekend next year. We hope to see you there. York Toy Show. Amazing as always. Good times. Good people. Good holiday cheer. They play the Christmas music over the speakers, which I love. I love the classic. Christmas. And it's not the played out Christmas songs. Aside from that one TSO song. All the other ones. Good classic Christmas songs. I like it. A lot of people are complaining, like, oh, too much Christmas. No, there's never too much good Christmas music. As long as it's not like the Taylor Swift stuff, stuff Justin Bieber. Mariah Carey. All right, so that's it. We'll see you soon for another episode here on Dark Ride Dracula. Click subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, happy holidays. Actually, this was a Sleigh Ride Dracula yeah, episode. Sleigh Ride Dracula. Sleigh Ride Dracula. So we'll see you soon. And again, Thanksgiving weekend next year here, York, Pennsylvania. You 
should be. Yes, we'll see you.